Light microscopes of the kind seen here are very different from electron microscopes. You might recognise the light microscope from your school lab. But electron microscopes you're highly unlikely to see in your school lab. First of all, they're much, much more expensive and high school labs don't really have a need for them. Now, one of the main differences between the light microscope and the electron microscope are their resolution. The electron microscope has a much higher resolution than the light microscope. But what does this mean? Well, resolution is defined as the smallest distance between two points that can still be distinguished as two separate entities. So in practical terms, this means that the smallest distance that you can tell two points apart using a light microscope is 200 nanometers. But for an electron microscope, it can go much further than that. It has a higher resolution. It can tell apart two points that are just 0.1 nanometers apart. So for us as biologists, this means that if we use a light microscope, we can view cells, but we can't view organelles because the organelles are too small. If we use an electron microscope, however, because it has a higher resolution and is able to distinguish between two points that are much closer together, we can see organelles such as mitochondria, the endoplasmic reticulum and membranes. Now, that's as much as you really need to know for the IB, but if I've caught your curiosity and you're still with me, here's a little more detailed of an explanation. The resolution of those microscopes depends on the wavelength of the illumination source. In other words, the light on the light microscope or the electrons on the electron microscope. Any object that you're trying to look at that is less than half of the wavelength of that source will not be visible. Now, the shortest wavelength of visible light is approximately 400 nanometers. It's actually a little lower than that, but for all intents and purposes, we'll go with 400. So therefore, the best resolution of a light microscope is half of that wavelength, which is 200 nanometers. And that's what we referred to earlier. Electron beams have a much shorter wavelength. Therefore, their best resolution is going to be a much shorter distance between two points. Their best resolution is 0.1 nanometers. In fact, there are apparently some electron microscopes that now can resolve to 0.05 nanometers. So if you're still with me at this point, let's just try and make some meaning of these units of nanometers. So one nanometer is one times 10 to the minus nine meters. So it's a very, very small distance between two points. So therefore, two nanometers is uh, two times 10 to the no minus nine meters. And uh, so if you multiply that up by 100, 200 nanometers actually ends up being two times 10 to the minus seven meters. So we're still talking very small values here. Now, remember that the 200 nanometers was the resolution of our light microscope. If we continue here, 0 0.1 nanometers is one times 10 to the minus 10 meters and 0 0.1 nanometers was the resolution of our electron microscope. So here just playing with the units you can see that 1 times 10 to the minus 10 meters is much much smaller for our electron microscope which has that much higher resolution because it can distinguish between two points that are much closer together than our light microscope that has a resolution of 200 nanometers. This is a bigger number 2 times 10 to the minus 7 meters and that's because it can only distinguish between two points that are further apart than the two that the electron microscope can distinguish between.